Good evening, this is Jay Engel with the National Weather Service Forecast Office out of Upton, New York. This is the latest and final weather briefing on the major coastal storm impacting our area. So what's changed since our last forecast update? We've extended the uh, time frame here with the high wind and some of the marine hazards uh, through 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. We also have some changes to the coastal flood warnings and advisories. Greater emphasis has now been placed on the Tuesday morning high tide. As far as forecast hazards and impacts, the high winds tonight along the coast, we could see some power outages due to trees and power lines uh, coming down in some of these stronger wind gusts. Heavy rain, widespread rain of 1 to 2 inches on average, locally 3 inch or slightly higher amounts are possible with the heaviest rain this evening in most areas and then overnight eastern Connecticut and Long Island. Minor to moderate urban and small stream flooding is likely with more serious urban flooding still possible if the higher rainfall totals materialize. Coastal flooding, minor to moderate coastal flooding this evening, minor to moderate coastal flooding for Tuesday morning for Long Island, South Shore, uh, Back Bays, and Eastern Bays. And as far as winter weather goes, Orange, Putnam, and Western Passaic counties do have a winter weather advisory where we're expecting mainly one to two inches of snow, but locally higher amounts above 750 feet at elevations above that height of two to four inches of snow. So the current hazards, high wind warning and wind advisory, for maritime interest only, out on the ocean waters only, not on the land, hurricane force wind warnings and storm warnings for the rest of the coastal waters, coastal flood warnings and advisories, and a flood watch. The uh, somewhat uh, darker shading of uh, tannish orange here indicates where the high wind warnings are in effect for the coast, for the southern Connecticut zones into New York City, southern northeastern New Jersey, and Long Island. Now the wind advisory, more of a tanner shade further north, and that's across Connecticut, the Hudson Valley, and parts of northeastern New Jersey. So for the high wind warning, sustained winds of 30 to 40 miles per hour can and should be expected with gust up to 60, cannot rule out some gust in the 65 to 70 mile an hour range out on the Twin Forks of Long Island. This occurs uh, tonight with the impact, some down trees and power lines with power outages and driving will be difficult and hazardous. So stay away from the roads if you can. And if you're out, you will definitely want to avoid elevated roads and bridges. Now out on the coastal waters, these are the warnings that we have uh, currently in effect. Again, for the coastal waters only. Flood watch, the graphic on your left, indicated by the shading of green, where two to three inches locally of rain with possible urban flooding. And the graphic on the right is the forecast rainfall totals uh, with this storm. Coastal flood forecast, we have the warnings up for moderate coastal flooding. The timing is this evening's high tide and the Tuesday morning high tide cycle with surges of three and a half to four feet tonight and two and a half to three and a half feet for Tuesday morning. And the impacts will be widespread flooding of waterfront and shoreline roads and adjacent properties, some road closures, and the possibility of isolated structural damage. Now the darker shades of green indicate where a coastal flood warning is in effect, and that's for Long Island, Lower Westchester, and Staten Island. The brighter or the lighter shades of green indicate where a coastal flood advisory is in effect. And if you do live along the immediate coast, you want to pause your video and take a look at some of these coastal flooding thresholds because th these could uh, impact your location if you're right along the shore. And here are the water level forecast uh, for the uh, south shore of Long Island for this evening and Tuesday morning. And also the water levels for eastern Connecticut, New London, and for the east end of the island for this evening and tomorrow morning and the water levels for New York Harbor for tomorrow morning. Western Long Island Sound water levels for this evening and also for Tuesday morning. The shades of blue indicate where that winter weather advisory is in effect and that's through 6 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning. The most likely snowfall, the graphic on the left, indicates generally a coating to maybe as, as much as three inches across some sections of Orange County 
The image on the right shows the worst case scenario, and that only has a 10% chance of verifying. So this is our final briefing. You can uh, uh, check out our website for the latest information. Also, be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter for the latest forecast updates.